Hey guys, still there? Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whatever it is for your place. Um, I suspect again, pretty much a couple of mornings, uh, a couple of afternoons, especially uh, Australia, Asia in general, and uh, potentially evening, although at that time. Anyway, today, more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I have 17 out of 23 missions completed, so we still have a couple of missions to go, and I'll probably need you guys' input and support for that. Uh, we still haven't defeated the semi-dreadnought. I still need to build a battleship or heavy cruiser and take down the battleship and two light cruisers. What are we gonna do to fix this? Uh, maneuverability. I think guns and fire control are pretty much always the way to go. Making sure you just have more guns and better guns which can actually hit stuff. Yeah, I'll take that. Guns and fire control. Now this is a stream, of course, so if you have any good input on what to do, then by all means let me know down below in chat. Alright, so I know I'm fighting a battleship and two light cruisers. Uh, best I can get is a battleship 3 or an armored cruiser 4. These are probably a bit faster. Or are they? 26 and a half, 24. Yeah, the armored cruisers are a little faster. They probably do have less resistance though. We're probably only looking at a resistance of 65, 70. Oh, hold on. Do they have more resistance? <clears throat> really? That's an interesting setup. All right, let's go for the uh, multiple expansion engine, or rather the triple expansion engine. I got so much stuff that I don't actually have access to. No auxiliary engines, no propeller shaft technology. Iron plate armor versus, uh, I can go to group one. That's a little better. Budget could be a big issue here. Only nine and a half K. Or rather nine and a half million if you want to be accurate. Um. Main tower, usually the most accurate one. Secondary tower, again, same, most accurate. And a funnel. We can go for induced boilers, but not forced, unfortunately. So we'll just have to stick with induced. And coal propulsion. 25 knots, maybe? If I can uh, keep the ship going that fast. Uh, hoping that it works. I will have to add quite a few funnels in order to keep that efficiency up, though. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Let's see if this is enough. That's 56% only. All right, we'll just have to run with the 56. Now, to take down a battleship, I want to be firing at large range, great range, making sure I don't get too close. The best I can fit is 11 inch. It's a Mark III. Uh, this is a 10 Mark III. So let's say I'd be fighting at about 10 kilometers out. 6.7 penetration, 9.1. But can this fit? Okay, it does fit. Four weight offset's pretty bad. Any way to shift that back? There. Okay, so we got our turrets. Now let's make sure those are accurate. Ish. Um, as for shells, I kind of like the heavy shells. They seem to work best. Just putting a lot of firepower on target. And potentially using HE as well. Torpedoes. I got a couple of torpedo launchers, but their range is three. Nah, not worth it. I also have the case made guns, which can fit five inch. Look at the accuracy though. Only at two and a half kilometers am I going to get accurate. 25%. Anything lower than that, five kilometers out, I get a 3.9% chance to hit. And at seven and a half, 0 0.4. That is not a whole lot. Maybe I'm gonna have to rely a whole lot more on these guns. Reload, semi-auto reloads. And let's increase shell type or shell rounds to heavy. Increased. 
Propulsion then. Oh, it's a very early game. Ballastide gives me a bit more range. And more muzzle velocity as well. Let's go for Ballastite. Printed, good morning. Isn't it really early in Brazil at this point? I don't have barbettes. Torpedo belt I don't think is required. Let's go for a double hull, reinforced bulkheads. Uh, Anti-flooding one. Underwater protected deck two. Ship's overweight. Oh. That's never going to fit. Um, what's making this ship so heavy? Because sure as hell is not the armor. There is not a whole lot of armor on this craft. It's not the torpedoes because I don't have any of those. Is it the double hull? Yeah, the double hull is surely not helping. Hmm. Maybe I can still fit better turrets. Let's say advanced hydraulic. Nope. Ship's overweight. I don't really see where I could be saving on stuff. It's possibly the heavy shells. Yeah, shell weight plus 30%. There, we're now slightly under weight limit. But not by much. I still have a whole bunch of money available, but I don't know what to spend it on. Uh, armor belts. Nope. Nope. Turret top 0 0.8. Oh, that's a very lightly armored turret. 1.4 is probably the best I can get. Deck extended 0 0.6. Yikes. Well, I only got two guns, the Mark 11s. Maybe I need to save some weight on that. Because these are 588 tons, these turrets. What if I go to 10 inch? That's going to put them at 464. That's a little better. Alternatively, 9 inch, but I'm not even sure 9 inch can go through the armor that I need to go through. Let alone try to hit anything. They do have... Well, that's 7,500 meters. 3.9, 4.25. I want to see how the ship does if I have a couple of uh, these 11-inch guns. We're going to have to bring these turrets back a little more. Four weight offset, 0.6%. Well, it's not a whole lot, but let's see if this works. An armored cruiser. Although the armored part is not very armored. I do get two light cruisers, though, to help me out. But I'm not expecting any miracles from that thing. Shit, we're really close. 5.8 kilometers out. Get away from there. What are we looking at? One, two, three main turrets. Um, a pretty hefty secondary as well. What are my light cruisers armed with? Torpedoes and 5 inch and 3 inch. Torpedo range, 3. So unless I want to suicide those things, they're not likely to hit anything. This is going to be a tough fight. Maybe the battle cruiser or the uh, armored cruiser hull just is not the right choice. Maybe I should go for the heavier armor or the heavier hull, the dreadnought or battleship. I'm not even sure which one, uh, which it's called. All right, the cruisers. I want you to shield me, screen me from enemy fire. They can put up a smoke screen, and I might need that. So 
So far, both seemingly his hit chance and mine are not very good. Though he has scored a couple of hits, and I have yet to do that. Identification is going real fast, though. That's a plus. Finally, some damage. Far below water level? Interesting. With HE, of all things. 92, 95, let's see what we have. 97%. There it is. It has 9-inch guns. It has many bulkheads. So it's going to be quite resistant to damage. It does come with 8-inch secondary, 3-inch secondary and torpedoes at a range of 5. Okay. So that's something that I will have to stay well clear of. Because I don't really have too much that can actually defend against that. 70% chance to pen. Let's go for AP. It's not a great chance to pen, but it might be enough. In the meanwhile, we also have a couple of light cruisers to contend with. Oh, these guys are really close. I want you guys to go for the light cruiser. Your chances of actually doing something against that ship are far better. Accuracy is still dreadful, though. Who's this? The Flora. Interesting turret setup on the stern. Not to mention that the ship seems to be heavily underwater. And listing to starboard after having taken a flooding hit. Do we know anything about their warships? Not yet. Working on it. Could we hit that light cruiser with the Hawk? Just to get a couple of guns out of the fight. Probably not. It's just scattering. It ricochets off the armor. So AP doesn't work. I need to go for HE. It's taken some damage to the Hawk, but otherwise fine. Smoke it up. Your torpedo range is only three, correct? Yeah. It's not a whole lot. Uh, what's their speed? 18 knots. Okay, so if I can go to full speed, I'll still be moving away from them. But my accuracy goes up. Oh, the floor is fighting back. The floor seems to have its damage completely healed up. Well done. I thought we were going to lose that ship in the first couple of minutes of the battle. Although it is flooding yet again. I'm probably only firing with one turret. No, the bow turret can still fire. Not that it hits anything, but it can fire. still have 80 minutes to take this ship down, so that hopefully will be enough. Now he throws out many more shells than I do, because he has a reload of 27 seconds. Whereas I have a reload of... Uh, 26? Oh. The autoloaders are actually compensating very nicely. Good. So we're more or less putting out the same levels of damage. Flora is once again trying to pump out all the water, but this time it's taken on a lot. And in the meanwhile, the Delhi is doing really poorly. Light cruisers, minimum bulkheads, <laughs> armor of 0 to 0 0.7. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. Fortunately, having your light cruiser survive is really not important. <laughs> because they're basically on the bottom already, or very quickly going there. Decro, thank you for the tip. Much appreciated. Ah, 
Uh, maybe I should switch to 9 inch guns and then throw on the secondaries, especially since I know that I started about 6 clicks. Maybe it's enough. Because at 6 clicks out, I do about 11 inches of penetration. That's a lot. This ship has 1.7 to 12.1 inches of armor, plus 45%. So he has a lot more than what I could reliably pen. Alright. So maybe that doesn't work out. Hmm. Maybe I can just keep putting this thing on fire and hopefully... Hopefully those mini bulkheads are not going to take too short of a time to put that out. Good morning to everybody just tuning in. Once again on this mission where I need to sink uh, a battleship and two escorts. And so far... It's hard to tell you who's winning. Because my light cruisers are not doing too well. Uh, the Hawk seems to be reasonably okay. I'm just peppering this ship with HE for the moment, trying to get that armor down. And also more or less keep him at range, because my chance to pen him is not great. And his chance to pen me is actually pretty damn good. Now, I don't want to be maneuvering too heavily, because my accuracy will drop. And, uh... If I... Yeah, there goes my uh, light cruiser, the Delhi. If I maneuver too violently, I might throw off their aim. But I also do less damage myself. So, if you're trading both ways. Yeah, maybe I should be killing the light cruisers before I go for the battleship. Okay, let's uh, target the light cruiser. <clears throat> See if we can do some damage against that. Oh! Oh, indeed. That was one HE shell that immediately found the uh, Piles and did a good blow to it. Flooding it, putting it on fire. But my base accuracy is only 8%, so this is going to take a bit of time before we might actually get another hit. Losing a light cruiser means you get less guns on target. True. But I'm not terribly worried about 5-inch guns. Sure enough, they might put me on fire, <clears throat> but that's about everything that they can do. Now, I need to sink all enemies, so I need to make sure that these things don't fall behind or smoke up. Speaking of which, <clears throat> they just smoked up. Or rather, just disappeared, probably from uh, moving away too far from them. Go for the Vittoria. Victoria de las Tunas. What nation am I fighting? Is that Italian? Spanish. Okay. <clears throat> and they're smoked up again. Good luck hitting anything like that. Pen chance only 18%. I don't want to take a cruiser into a knife fight with a battleship. Not unless I have some sort of decisive advantage like torpedoes. But I didn't put those on this ship. <coughs> so that's not really going to work out. That would mean I have to stay at range and just hope that eventually I can wear them down. Oh, there's the light cruiser again. Five point five, twenty-five percent chance to hit. That's better. Range is going low though. We're on four point two. A couple of good blows to the hawk, and I lose my speed, and with that, my maneuverability. I won't be able to stay away from the guy. What's the flora doing? Not much. <laughs> 10.8 knots. No, sorry, I'm not going to wait around for you. 
Not when I have a couple of very sizable ships firing back at me, like this battleship. Where's the other light cruiser? Still here. I can't quite see him, but I know where his shells are coming from. Maybe I should make a full turn. To make sure I don't get away from the other ship, the other light cruiser. Not mine, but theirs. Target the light cruiser. This is where I want to go. Of course, the bow turret is going to have to swing all the way around. This is when that 17% accurate or uh, turret rotation buff really helps. Eight percent chance with a hundred percent chance to pen. I should be firing AP. Ah, there you are. You're rejoining this fight. Nice. Engine one and two damaged, so he is going to be slowing down quite a bit. Yep. Down to twelve knots. I'm now focusing on crippling the light cruisers to make sure that they cannot get out. They can't escape. There you go. Once these AP units find their targets, they actually do get a lot of damage in. More flooding. Same sections though, so he's probably not going to be flooding anymore there. But now his bow is also flooding. Uh, do the protect the transports, sure. I haven't done that mission yet, I think. Is he... No, he's still fighting it. Crap. Okay, I'll just have to finish him off. Why is the Serio not firing? What's that about? Is he trying to get his guns on target or something? Destroyed funnel. Could you just sink? More flooding. More fire. Torpedo's been destroyed. Tough little ship. Not tough enough. Alright, now let's go for his sister ship. Or her sister ship. Until we get there, the uh, battleship's gonna have to be the target. How many torpedoes do you have on uh, the flora? Oh, just the two. 3,000 damage. Um, no, let's not subject the flora to damage like that. <clears throat> Where's that other light cruiser? I'm not seeing any smoke screens. Oh, there it is. He was inside of a smoke screen. I'm rather hoping I packed enough rounds. 222 left. And while this battleship has taken some damage, it is still very much in this fight. And we'll need a lot more before it sinks. This ship doesn't have a lot of speed, I think. Oh, he's doing 13, trying to limp away through his own smoke. Not a bad tactic. But I will catch him at 21 knots. 42 minutes left. Oh, I might be able to get a torpedo away. My chances of actually hitting him with the torpedo are dreadful. Because it's only one. But who knows? 
Maybe if he keeps going in a straight line, I'll actually get a torpedo hit on him. Jeez, those guns are all over the place. Let's see how that torpedo is going to be doing. Here it is. There. Does he not see it coming? Or is he going to slow down just enough? Are you kidding? Is that going to hit? Whoa, props to the light cruiser. That was a good launch with one torpedo. Sure enough, it might catch him well on the torpedo blister if he has any. Nice. So the flora is not entirely toothless, is it? I'm impressed. Now, if the Hawk could finally get done with killing off this light cruiser, we might actually be able to sink that battleship before time runs out. It still has engine damage. I'm running down to 190 shells. Yeah, I could close the distance and hit him again, but the flora only does 10 knots. That's my biggest problem. Oh! The flora just got torped in return. Yeah, I don't think that's going to survive that. Uh, and unfortunately, I got two ships fleeing in two different directions. I need to sink them both. The battleship's at 8.6 kilometers out. Doing a speed of 6.7, so he's not fast. But I first need to sink the cruiser, then turn around fast. Um, maybe I could already start making that turn. As I'm moving away from the cruiser, probably try and sink it. <clears throat> and then hope that the battleship hasn't run off too far yet. <coughs> It's doing good damage now. A couple of pens that are going seemingly all through the ship. But once again, he is smoking up. He's still fighting. I'm still taking a... What is that? 5-inch fire? Yeah, 5 and 3 probably. Yep. Conning tower damaged. No, destroyed even. I'm down to 150 shells. It's gonna get pretty close. I'm not really sure how the flora is still alive. That's impressive for such a little ship to get hit by a torpedo and then to survive. These smoke screens are so annoying on these little cruisers. Yeah, I think the battleship will get another hit on the flora. It is smoked up, though. Look at how quickly he got that flooding under control. Only very, very little was actually damaged. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work out. I don't think I can sink the light cruiser in time. If I could get a lucky ammo detonation, that would really help me. But my chances of getting that are not great. My chances of hitting him are slim, and I'm wasting a lot of ammo on this thing. And he disappeared. Yeah, this is not going to work. Rebuild the ship. Let's take some time and build something else. Uh, let's go for the battleship three. Mm. Put on the main tower. And the secondary. Now for the guns. Can I mount side inch guns? Or side mounted guns? No. Too big. 
What sort of secondary? I command 8-inch secondaries. That's almost as big as my main armament if I go for 9-inch. So I could put out quite a large volume of fire. Especially if I go for the 9-inch guns. Yeah, let's go for dual barrel 9-inch. One on the bow, one on the stern. Uh, throw on a funnel before I forget it. Speed is not that important. Range is not important. Bulkheads are pretty important. Induced boilers, armor plating. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get close to that battleship. Which means I will need quite a tough hull. So let's go for Krupp 1. Barbettes. I don't have any barbettes really. Anti torpedo. Uh, we might need that. Double barrel, dual hull. I would like to get. Yeah, these are expensive though. How many secondary can I fit? Especially if I'm going for eight. Oh, the eight inch don't even fit. Seven? Nope. Come on. You give me all these slots. What am I putting on here? Five inch? Five inch. Hmm. I really don't think my chances of going with a five inch are going to be that good. Can we pop a gun at that middle funnel spot <laughs> over here? <laughs> I don't think so. That'd be fun though. I could go with a torpedo launcher. What if I up my torpedo... Uh, where is that? Here. Promptly the game doesn't let you select the torpedo launcher anymore. Ah, there you were. No, it was still 3 kilometer range. Not worth it. I don't think... Well... It might hit. It might hit. But then just let's keep it a 15 inch. Because otherwise I might be wasting quite a bit of weight on that. I also have a torpedo tube on the stern. Look at the firing angle of that. Oh, that's terrible. Is the bow seemingly bad? Yeah. These things just don't have any sort of angle. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so that's not really going to be the solution. Standard torpedo propulsion? Uh, fast. Minus 50% torpedo range. Yeah, right. So I would need to be at one and a half kilometer. That's exceptionally close. How about a citadel? Nope. Ship's overweight. And now I'm over budget. Some parts are badly placed. So be it. To flood one. Standard shells. Increased amount of shells. This turret's badly placed. Centerline guns. Or could I fit side mounts here? Yeah, one, not two. All right, fine. We'll go for center line. After weight offset's pretty bad. I need to drag that bow turret further forward. If I can, and I probably can't. Hmm. I don't think there's too much that I can fix about that aft weight offset. And I'm very close to cost and quite close to weight limit as well. Funnel, funnel, funnel. I have a funnel. And I cannot put the funnel any further forward. Alright, 6.4 inch extended belt armor. Standard shells with a semi-auto loader. Increased ammo count, black powder explosive, because I simply cannot afford anything else. <clears throat> uh, well, here goes. 
Let's hope that this works a little better. And I'm going to need more coffee. Yeah, my engine efficiency is pretty bad. I know. So be it. Okay, what do we have here? The Challenger and the Belfast. Armed with 6-inch guns, but no torpedoes. Oh. That's a little sad. Hmm. Yeah, rangefinder. I should have added a rangefinder. You're absolutely right. 0% chance to pen, probably at that range. So let's go for HE shells. 5 inch open up at a range of 8.4 if they have accuracy. Which they probably don't for a while. As soon as these light cruisers come out of their smoke, I want to hit them. already taken my first hit. Ship should be able to survive that, though. Oh, you're already targeting a light cruiser. Switch to AP with an 81% chance to pen. Cornwallis is fighting with all guns on the starboard side. Look at that. Six 5-inch barrels and four 9-inch. Pepper that light cruiser. The Infanta Isabel. Fortunately, it does not come with torpedoes. This thing does. Oh, it has few bulkheads. This is a big opportunity to put it on fire. Or generally to do damage to it, because it's not going to be as good <coughs> at uh, getting rid of all that damage. If you guys could not follow but screen, that would be more useful. Yeah, this one's already taken a bit of engine damage, so the Infanta Isabel is not doing too fast. Let's go for the Lucio. Yeah, quite a bit of damage to the stern of the Infanta. Good. That's a good start. Conning tower damaged. You should angle your ship. Uh, I can. I can angle it in towards the battleship. As I'm going to close to brawling range. He has a whole bunch of 9-inch guns and a bunch of 3-inch secondaries. I don't think I should be too afraid of those, but my light cruisers might. They might be very afraid of those. What I am a little concerned about is their torpedo capability. So as soon as I see this thing tick, that it launches, I need to be turning. And fast. Cornwallis is being peppered by small arms fire. Well, <laughs> small arms fire. In the form of 5 and 3 inch. Uh, which is a hell of a lot bigger than small arms fire, I suppose. Prepare for ramming speed. They aren't shooting your light cruisers. Uh, no, they're a little preoccupied, I think. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Slow down. Give me maximum right rudder. Can we fire our own torpedo, maybe? No. Slow down, Cornwallis! No! Yeah, that happened. Uh, reacquire the target. New target is the battleship. Please get the port torpedo launcher on that. Right about now would be a good time. There it is, torpedo out. Maintain speed. Set speed for 18 knots. Commence port turn. <clears throat> well, he dished it out. Let's see how well he can take it, because I have... Standard amount of bulkheads. He has few. Flooding amidships. How are my lights doing? We destroyed his torpedo launcher. Good news. 
I don't ever want to see that thing fire at me again. That took quite a bit of damage. Torpedo destroyed. Good. Look at the knife fighting range on these things. 300 meters. Holy shit, guys. Prepare to board. Maybe rear torp as well. I don't have a rear torpedo. I only put the port and the starboard on. Cornwallis, stay with him. Auto selection for ammo. This is like one of those toddler fights where they're all trying to do a whole bunch of damage to each other, but they're just not doing it. Um, HE and the Belfast also use HE. Because I don't see AP doing very much. Pan chance of 43%. So I guess fire damage is where it's at. Battle of Trafalgar colorized. Yeah. Challenger. Keep going. Don't stop. Detach from the group. Challenger, move. Belfast, keep going. Circle your prey. Oh. Sixty-one percent chance to hit. Let's go for HE. It's not doing much. Just punching his armor a little bit. Hold off on the torpedo launch. I need to get way closer before I want to send another torpedo into that ship. Whoa! Ammo detonation. Something is wrong with our ships today. That was a nice effect, though. Now he's doing 79 and 74. I'm doing 77 and 92. Secondary gun damaged. Fire set. What are my secondaries up to? Do I still have all my secondaries? No, I lost the port one. Port 4-1 and the starboard 4-1. Alright, so we got the other ones. They're just gonna have to take up the slack. How fast are you going? 20 knots? Still? No, 11 knots. Do they still get a bonus from being close enough to my command ship? I think so. I think that uh, this outer layer is the bonus at uh, 8 kilometers. The flagship bonus. Destroy the secondary gun. Oh, lovely. I need to close in on this battleship. Increase the flank. And then meanwhile, target the Santa Lucia. What's my pen chance? 97. Switch to AP. Although they are at a pretty steep angle. That's going to be pretty hard to actually pen. Ammo detonation. Unfortunately, it seemed to do a whole lot less damage to the Santa Lucia than it did to uh, the Challenger. Flooding. Come on, sink the Santa Lucia. Quickly. Shit, there goes the Belfast, also due to an ammo detonation. Really? One ship detonating after the other. Let's finish him off with a couple of AP rounds. Well placed AP rounds, I hope. Main gun destroyed. Fire. Destroyed another secondary gun. These secondary guns need more armor. The rate that I'm losing secondary guns is getting out of hand. Oh, 
I lost a funnel. There goes my engine efficiency. As far as I had any. They're smoking up again. Destroy the funnel. It's like at some point you can destroy so much of the ship that the rest does not take as much damage, if any. There goes another secondary gun. <laughs> Come on, Corwallis, charge. Maybe ignore the cruisers for a bit. I'm gonna land another torpedo on that battleship. But he does not really seem interested in taking one. He's still trying to get out of my way. That's why I have second funnels, yeah, but... I could put a secondary funnel on this ship, no problem. But I would have to sacrifice something else. Because my budget simply isn't quite there. So maybe I have to go for a bigger budget. Slight right turn. Chances of hitting this thing with a torpedo are very, very low. It's heading away at a steep angle. I don't see it happening. And the 18 secondaries, or sorry, the 5 inch secondaries, they're probably all dead. Yeah, now they are. <laughs> Jinxed it. Now they are. The starboard ones are fine. Mostly. The port ones are just gone. Uh, why does this mission just keep failing me? Or rather, why do I keep failing this mission? Yeah, flip the ship around. Same amount of guns with bigger caliber. I couldn't afford that. I think I might be going for the funds upgrade next. So the funds bonus. Because my current way of doing it just doesn't really seem to work. I mean, sure enough, I'm hitting the target, I'm doing damage, but it's just not enough. And then meanwhile, I'm still being fired out by a couple of invisible light cruisers. And, of course, I turn to the port side, and a secondary gun on starboard gets immediately destroyed. Hmm. I wonder how much more damage this battleship can take. Destroy torpedo. Didn't we do that three times already? That's my speed. 12.5? That means he's getting away. Or will be getting away pretty soon. Over penetration on the belt? You mean I could pen this thing? With a 13% chance? And HE is getting over pens. That's weird. There, destroy torpedo again. Am I destroying individual torpedoes? Because I'm not destroying a torpedo launcher. And if one torpedo detonates on board their own ship, I think they would all go up. Since that would be in their magazine. Or at least some sort of ammo storage locker. Still 64. There, another torpedo destroyed. It just keeps doing this. How many torpedoes does this ship have? Four. One bow, one port, one starboard, one aft. Destroyed the main tower. Great. I will complete this mission, just not with the ship design, I'm afraid. Uh, 
Okay, leaf battle. More funds. I get another four and a half million. I, uh, if I make the ships not too sizable, I might be able to build two battleships. So let's go for a cheap setup. Rear tower one. Uh, one funnel. Let's go for a medium funnel only. And then put nine inch guns on them. One. I have to wait to offset. Three and a half. <clears throat> There. Don't ask me how this thing turns, though. Because it turns right into the superstructure. Uh, range to none. I can still get group one. That's pretty good. What layout can the heavy cruiser do? Not too much better. Uh, we tried that. It didn't quite work. Transgunging from black powder to anything else. It'll save weight, yes, but it'll also make it more expensive. The only other upgrades that I have are gun cotton or ballastite. Maybe go for gun cotton to make sure that my HE fire chance goes up a little. How low can I get this thing? No. <laughs> this is a pocket battleship of 12,000 tons. Oh, you cute little thing. Um, <laughs> save on the engine weight. Switch to induced boilers. 48% engine efficiency still. Single 6 inch? What, as a secondary or casemate? As secondaries. Okay. Oh, I can put 13 inch on here now. Whoa. Would I still be able to build two of them? No. Not on the bow. I could put an 11 inch, maybe a 12? 12. Fits. What a monstrous design. Aft weight offset. 20%. Looks more like a pre dreadnought than a real battleship, yeah. <clears throat> well, it is a pre dreadnought. <laughs> I have to wait to offset. I don't think I can do much to counter that aft weight offset. Can go for Citadel 1. I do need an auto loader if I can afford it. Yeah, sort of. Aft weight offset 7%. How is its accuracy? Um, <clears throat> if I install a rangefinder, it might be better. Maybe just increase the gun aiming speed, because I'm not even fighting at long range. This is 15% aiming speed, and this is 7%. There. Then we're going to throw on a bit of extra armor. Uh, conning tower, I think, looks good enough. There, that's all I can afford. Torps barely have any weight. Uh, okay. Yeah, 54 tons. Okay, so I'd have to get some armor off the ship. Quite a bit of armor off the ship. Armor quality is plus 70%. There. Okay. Now. Let's hope this works. After weight offset 7%. I'm going to really notice that. It only has three guns per ship. One 12 inch. Or sorry, three 12 inch barrels. Mounted over two different turrets. Oh, this is going to be a weird design. Add to the front? But do you see that torpedo angle? All I'm getting is that one little sliver. And I'm trying to fire a torpedo at a ship that's probably moving away from me. And on top of that, 
the battleships that I've seen so far, they actually have quite a lot of torpedo protection. But okay, let's put one on the front. And see what that does. Oh, four weight offsets, now 0.7%. Because I would put one 18-inch torpedo launch on there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe some more armor on the belt. There. Use it as weight. Good point, Alex. Thank you. Send it. It is good to chase, yes. But my rate of fire is probably pretty dreadful. And not just that. My speed isn't quite there either. Well, at least I got big guns. That's something, I guess. Um, let's detach these. Or... No, I can set line of rest for this formation. And just charge right the hell in. Light cruisers. Oh, the light cruisers have torpedoes again. 18 inches as well. Good stuff. Cut it with the screening and just push right into that battleship. Pen chance unknown. What do we know? Three turrets on the... Well, one turret on the bow. A couple of turrets on the side. If I ever manage to chase this thing down... It might not be able to bring a whole lot of firepower to bear. Okay. Let's speed things up. Oh, the light cruisers are on the wrong side of him. Interesting. That might give me options. 56, 58, 60% identification. Here come the light cruisers now. Please don't have torpedoes. Because I didn't... I, well, I think I didn't put any sort of torpedo blister on these ships. Oh, crap. You're really, really close. Let's go for the light cruisers first. This is some sort of monstrosity that I've built. The uh, Real Carlos and the uh, San Pablo. It looks like something a kid drew up. Rather than something you would actually take into a fight. Two point nine percent. Yep, it comes with torpedoes at a range of five kilometers. How does he have more torpedo range than I do? Not just once or twice, but consistently. It's like his torpedo tech is better. Weird. Also, light cruisers, please don't get in the way of the battleships. Their light cruisers have fired torpedoes. Uh, where? It's one single launcher. I need to find that torpedo. Before some battleship lumbers right into the way of it. Four point three percent chance to hit. Oh, that's dreadful. Anybody see that torpedo? A thin line moving through the water? No? The Real Carlos already had his torpedo launcher damaged. It's still functional, but... Hopefully, it's... Oh, there it is. Found the torpedo. Here it comes. We need to get the light cruisers out of the way. The Carlos should be fine. I want you to go for the other cruiser. This is something that somebody taught me in the comments of one of the videos. If you uh, have two ships in the division... And you want the other ship to target another target. So the Carlos is now going for the uh, Confienza. And the San Pablo is going for the Nibio. Click the ship. Hold control. And then you can pick another target for it. That works. 
Nibio still hasn't launched. I think that what I'm de doing basically amounts to suicide tactics at this point. Set a smoke screen. Uh, torpedoes too aggressive. Whoa! Now we're talking. 1500 damage. From one salvo of the El Carlos. At this range, you would reliably expect to hit something. Uh, torpedo away from the uh, Favorita. Are you really going to hit that? Tor hit torpedoes the that English. The torpedo is here. I think the Confianza saw that coming. And is not really impressed with it. <laughs> yeah, accuracy on these things. Or lack thereof. Torpedo in the water. Yeah, the Carlos is working on evading that. Looks like the Nibio is getting mauled. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Coming in from the battleship from Concordia. Uh, Carlos, engage the Concordia. San Pablo, maintain your target. Nibio. Torpedo away. Oh shit, there's another torpedo in the water. Oh, this is gonna hurt. That was two torpedoes, in fact. Oh, it's not that bad. That's not nearly as much damage as I thought they would do. Their speed is affected though, because all my engines got knocked out. Less speed, yeah. Well, don't worry, the Carlos is slowing down. Oh. That's not good. The San Pablo also sent out his torpedo. Oh, that's the poor Carlos. Detach. Another torpedo hit? Nibio must have also sent out its other side. As for my light cruisers, their torpedo should be rearmed pretty soon. Intercept. Well, he's gonna take a torpedo. There goes the El Carlos. Flooded. Oh, I cannot lose any battleship. Ah, <sighs> okay. I should slow down earlier, yeah. Um, do I need to change anything about the design, you guys think? Yeah, I'm in the middle of their pack, you're right. Maybe 23 knots is too fast overall. Just make it 20 knots. And put some more torpedoes on these things. Uh, and maybe an anti-flooding system. And if I have the cash for it, torpedo blisters. Yeah, I can still fit that. Same layout, slow down early. Yeah. Six and a half. Oh, there we go. There. Six and a half inch belt extended armor, 10 inch belt armor, plus 70%. Get to 10 to 15 speed? Really? 15 knots. This is gonna be a really, really slow ship. Let's see if it works. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, let's make it pretty heavily armored then. Can we even put a Citadel 2 on it? Sure. Anti-torpedo? No. Can go for a double hull. Reinforced bulkheads. <laughs> Floating fortresses. They're not going to get anywhere fast. <laughs> but they will 
potentially get there in the end. Right. Okay. Oh, they're not blisters, they're internal protection. Okay. For the torpedoes, that is. Right. Full speed ahead, 15 knots. Charge into the targets. Okay, fortunately the cruisers still have torpedoes. Uh, line abreasts. Slow down to 16 knots. More secondaries. Well, the secondaries previously only got knocked off. They didn't actually do much for me. In the sense of damage. Battleships, line abreasts. Slow down to... Oh, we got a damage. A bit of damage. Um, I'm going to just detach you from the division. Need you to head right in. Oh, wow. We're getting flooding hits on this warship already? This is the battleship. What the hell is happening? What the hell? That thing almost flooded to death. Apparently I knocked a really, really sizable piece of the hull off and caused flooding on three compartments. Really? Just like that. Consistency in all things. Secondaries eat light cruisers. Uh, in my experience, more the other way around. The light cruisers are shipping off my secondaries pretty damn quick. It has minimum bulkheads. But 13 inch guns. Try not to get hit by those. They have torpedoes, but they haven't fired them yet. Ah, oh, this smoke screen's getting in the way again. Hmm. Your smoke screen's gone. This thing's probably not going as fast as it normally would be. <laughs> He's doing 12 and a half knots. At that speed, you could almost outrun the battleships that I'm building, or that I have. Fire, fire, fire. His aft compartments are mostly on fire now. Or were. Light cruisers are taking hits? Yeah, a bit. No torpedo launches yet from any of these ships. Another fire set. Keep it up. I want you to go for the Ulpio Traiano. Keep it up, keep it up. We can do it this time. Just like the last couple of times. I'm going to slow down the light cruisers even more. Before they actually get into the middle of the pack, like last time. What's your pen chance? 12%. That is terrible. Maintain HE fire. Rizzo d'oro. What's your turret setup like? Right. One bow turret, a couple of side mounts, and a stern. Well, who am I to criticize his weird loadout? Because my ships are potentially even worse. Also, I think I might need to speed up a little. Or do I? Because so far... What am I doing? 12 and a half. And he's doing 11 and 9. No, I'll stay with him at this range. Light cruiser, smoke up. They can do it. And so can we. 
Where are your torpedoes launched, or torpedoes mounted? On the bow? Yeah, port stern, bow aft. The Reina Cristina took a really big salvo there. Light cruiser's probably going down very quick. Yeah, damage the funnel. Surround them. You know that my ships are only doing 15 knots, right? My chances of surrounding them are really not that good. Alright, speed up. I know I'm sacrificing the bonus that I get from being at something like cruise speed. But at this point, I think I need to get a little closer. And all the while, I'm continuously putting this ship on fire. More and more of its superstructure is just gone. I mean, it seems like maybe even one of his guns is gone. Because that turret over there is looking red. No, keep firing on that battleship. Don't suddenly go changing your target. Once that battleship is dead, we can pretty easily close in on the cruisers. Get rid of those. Oh, buddy. Principe Alfonso sunk by torpedoes. Oh. Break out the oars and start rowing. Yes, we need all the speed we can get. Fire and flooding. Hmm, guess the armor on his stern is not doing too well. What's your range to that light? Three and a half kilometers. Okay. For you, it should be even less. 3.1. Keep HE firing this thing. It's put out all the fire so far. Another fire set. Once again on his stern. It seems like they just don't even try to go for the battleships. Neither of my battleships have taken a single point of damage. Nothing. That's very, very unusual. Normally it's the battleships who take the first bit of damage. It's the cruisers who sink first. But the battleships at the very least take a, take a load of damage. What's your speed now? Eight knots. So we're catching up. My speed, 15 knots. Once again, fire set. This time on the bow. Sailing broadside to a cruiser with torpedoes. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. This one might also have the same idea. Trying to do the same thing to the battleship now. Oh, we're once again knife fighting range here. 2.4. Torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. Move to evade. That's probably a gift coming in from the Julio. But he has a very bad profile to fire at, so I think I'm already avoiding it. Still though, let's slow down a little bit. What are you guys doing? How much speed? 16 knots. So they're pretty fast, but they're zigzagging the whole way. Let's go to 12. Same on the uh, Estella. Sorry, Estrella. Rudder damaged, fire, flooding. Is there anything even left to burn in that stern compartment? Because everything is red, and the rest of it's underwater. More fire. Any other torpedoes? No, seems like we're fine. Rudder damage, what's your speed? 5.6. 5.4. I'm still rushing in. Yeah, kind of. 
Set speed to half. Another fire set. The Carlos has now taken some damage. Torpedo in the water. I'm glad I'm spotting these things early. And there's probably a whole bunch more coming. I cannot really ignore these ships any longer. There's another torpedo coming. And another one. Throw that rudder around again. Screw you. <laughs> that ship just won't die. Estrella's still working them over while we're taking shots at the Julio at 1.3 kilometers out. Finally, I did strike a torpedo. Oh, there's another one coming. There. Coming in close. But at low speed, these ships are actually remarkably maneuverable. Destroyed main gun? How'd you do that? That was the one on the stern of all things. Set to AP. Slow down. Do you got more torps? Not as of yet. Or at least I can't see them yet. Um, 22% chance to hit. If it hits, it might even kill. Nine hundred meters out. Shit, there's another torpedo coming. At this point, I'm running, or they're running out of torpedoes, I hope. So close, and we still miss one kilometer out. Let's slow you down as well, six knots. Yeah, you're right, my power in the battleships isn't brawling. Not if I don't have any secondaries. But with the secondaries, it didn't really work out too well either, because they just keep getting destroyed. So far, fortunately, their fire seems to be just bouncing off. Any more fish? Yep, there's another one. There you go. Casemates destroyed. Anything else? Why am I using AP when targeting the cruisers? Because I have a 100% chance, chance to pen. And by my understanding, that then does most damage. Whereas versus that battleship, my chance to pen is not as good. There. That was an AP hit from this battleship. Knocked him out for 1200 damage. Oh, I think it just sent out a torpedo from the Estrella. Yep, the Estrella launched. That's the torpedo. I don't think it's going to hit anything. Come on, sink it. It has zero structure. There we go. Finally. Now, go for the Julio together. Torpedo in the water. I 
I think those first couple of hits that we got on this battleship that immediately knocked him down a whole notch really helped. I didn't get that last time. Slow the Carlos to stop. If I stop, I'll not even be able to dodge any more torpedoes. And these guys are running. So I'm concerned that they'll actually get away. Especially this guy, the Ulpio. The Ulpio seems to be going 14 knots, at which speed I'll have a really hard time catching him. Target the Ulpio. And the uh, Julio is doing 11 and a half. Engine destroyed. Or damaged, rather. 9.8. 16 knots. The Ulpio is speeding up. Crank out all the speed we can on the Carlos. 9.2, 9.1, 9. Oh, no. Boom. There goes, there goes the Julio. Speed up. All ahead flank. If he limps out of here, we still lose the battle. Shit. Torpedo. Well, I won't be chasing that cruiser down with this battleship anymore. That's for sure. It's all down to the Estrella now. My accuracy is dropping fast. 5.1, 5, 4.9, 5, 4, 4, 8. 4, 7, 4, 6. Come on, catch him! To everybody who I haven't welcomed to the stream, welcome aboard. Ultimate Admiral, I'm trying to sink a battleship and two light cruisers. I've sunk a light cruiser and the battleship, but one light cruiser is now very rapidly trying to get the hell out. And he might actually get away with it too. Because he's doing 21.2 knots, and my fastest ship is doing 15. <coughs> so my accuracy is dropping fast. And the range is rapidly increasing. My best bet is to knock this ship out and hope that I hit an engine. Um, any other chances? I don't really see. Unless this ship makes a mistake somehow and decides to slow down. Whoa! Engine 3 damaged. Good. Speed dropping. 18.5. 17.7. 16.9. 16 knots. 15 knots. 14.3. Get him. 14.2. So I'm closing again. 14.1. Boom. Engine 3 damaged. Again. Speed 12.8. 12.2. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6. 10.6.
Torpedo destroyed. Good. More flooding damage. Floatability goes down fast. And he's smoking up again. He's actually almost running out of 3 inch firepower. His shells are running out. The Estrella is not doing too much better though. Because it has 66 rounds for the main bow gun. And uh, 99 for the stern. <laughs> I fired one round with that stern gun. What's it looking at? Okay. Uh, come right. Let's try and get the stern gun joining in. Because at this point he's not going anywhere. He's doing 5.5 .5 knots. What's the max range on a 12 point on 12 inch gun? Um 15.6. At which range you won't hit anything. But 15.6 is the max range. Interestingly, the uh, Real is still also trying to do its own damage with a 1% chance to hit. That's dedication right there. Or desperation. Could be either. Miss. What does he have left? Oh, he sent out a torpedo. Yep, yeah, here it is. Let's make sure that that thing does not get too close to the Estrella. Fifty-six guns or fifty-six rounds left on the bow. Yeah, we should be fine. He's on 1%. Finish it. Come on. <laughs> so close. That's the second torpedo. There's more. Am I missing the first? In which case, it already has sailed by the Estrella. Okay. Go in. Hit him with your sword. Save ammunition, switch to HE. How's my cruiser doing? Still plodding along at 5 knots. There you go. Trajano sinks to structural damage. Got him. That engine hit, that saved me. If, had, if I didn't get that hit, I would not have been able to get that target. And the mission would have failed. So that was the salvation right there. Okay, um, there's another mission. I think it was Defend Your Convoy. Is this the one that you guys wanted to see? Defend the Convoy. I need to build a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, or a destroyer. And I'm facing off against one battle cruiser. That could be an interesting mission. All right, um, I am going to be right back. I'll let you guys get, take a minute to figure out what sort of ships we should be building. Heavy, light, or destroyer. And what sort of bonus as well.
All right, what are we doing? Uh, torpedoes, more funds. Go for destroyers, improved shells, and torpedoes. Our torpedoes will block out the sun. As much engine speed as possible. Guns and fire control. Big, fast, accurate torpedoes. Uh, those two things are usually not in the same sentence. They're either fast or they're accurate. But big and fast, well, in this game I haven't seen it work as well as I would like. Light cruiser with torps. Mm, surround him for torpedo practice. If I surround him and then go torpedo practice on him, I'm going to be figuring out that I might be torping my own ships. Um, a hundred and seven point five percent torpedo accuracy. Wow, that's a really big buff. Fourteen thousand meter torpedo range. I just don't know how good that battle cruiser is going to be at dodging torpedoes. Let's see what we can get. I can build four heavy cruisers. 16 light cruisers. Or 10 destroyers. Hold on. Why can I build more light cruisers than destroyers? Hmm? Am I missing something here? I still think that 10 destroyers should be more than enough. But I'm just a little curious about why I only build 10 of them. Alright, let's go for a uh, torpedo swarm build first. Let's see if that is viable. We're going to go for a 5 inch on the bow. There. Uh, barbet, no, not Barbette's funnel. You can also put a 5 inch on there. I don't think a 5 inch is going to do much. But we'll see. One launcher, two, three. Ship is overweight. Corrupt three. Well, it makes the armor lighter, but arguably, if a battle cruiser hits any part of a destroyer, it's going to go down anyway. So I think it might not even matter that much. This actually didn't change anything, by the way. Going from Harvey to Corrupt 3. Whereas the armor cost should be quadrupling. Alright. In that case, Corrupt 3. We need to catch this guy. Speed's going to be important. Let's say 35 knots. Ship's overweight. Okay. Turbines. Uh, semi-oil, forced boilers, auxiliary engine, um, one, propeller shaft, one, electric torpedoes, a lot more accuracy and a lot less detection range. Standard complement of torpedoes, that means I get 16 per launcher, so that's four salvos each. That should be enough. Does reloading also affect the torpedoes? 480 seconds. Still, yeah, it does not affect the torpedoes. Radio, I think radio position or radio telegraph. Or, no, I need radio direction finding, but I don't have it. Don't have the tech. Okay, the ship has zero armor. Yeah, exactly. So, screw armor. Um, mm -mm -mm. 22 inch torpedo, 300% damage. <sighs> Holy shit. I have to wait offset 10%. There. Surface detectability, about 3 kilometers. My torpedoes have a range of 14 uh, clicks. 
So I don't need to be anywhere near that range. Should be fine. Chat, am I forgetting anything? Why group three? Um, because if I go for the standard iron plate, it apparently does make... Oh yeah, uh, compound armor would also be enough. But see, there's no real difference between compound and group three. Because the ship doesn't have any armor anyway. I just need to make sure that the armor doesn't get as heavy. So iron plate armor makes my hull 65% heavier. At which point I just can't afford it. I can't afford to, to carry all that. Um, I think we're good to go. Swarm tactics. Well, if you want to call three ships swarm tactics, then yes. Because I don't really think three ships is a swarm. Fifteen ships. Then we're talking swarm tactics. One battle cruiser from the United States. That's a long ship. Really long ship. Okay, where are my destroy? Or where are my uh, transports? Here. And he's all the way over there. That is a lot of punch. Holy shit! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven turrets. That is one long boy. What the hell is that? Thirteen point nine. Okay, let's see if we can catch this guy. Destroyers break away from the formation and start to chase down that ship. Transports. I would recommend you turn tail and do so quickly. Oh, they're commanded by the AI. I cannot move them. Okay. That's a lot of firepower. I'm not sure if he spotted the transports yet, but I could put up a smoke screen regardless. Maybe be able to shield these ships. I'm gonna go aggressive on the torpedo launch. Just get a couple of torpedoes away and who knows it might hit him. Now you have to set that for every ship, of course. Let's slow down a bit. Identification 75%. If I get lucky, I catch him in one of the swarms of torpedoes and damage him, so he slows down. And then the next time he's going to be easier to hit. And judging by the second group here, that might be a hit. Unless he turns in, in which case he could be able to dodge them all. Alright, he only has 10 inch guns. And a lot of them. He hasn't spotted anything yet. 6 inch secondary, 5 inch secondary, 3 inch and torpedoes. At 10 kilometer range. Oh, he might dodge them. He's too fast. At 31 knots. Alright, boys, hold on. I want everybody to do a combined torpedo attack. Yep, he just perfectly dodged all of them. Alright, well done to the Idaho, I guess. Turn around. Where are my transports? Oh, guys, you need to be heading away from this ship a lot faster than you currently are. 10.5 knots. Yeah. Great. Also, seeing as we're not detected... <laughs> yeah, we're just peppering him with 5 inch. Well, peppering with a reload of 11 seconds. Ram it. 
<laughs> I think I'd be dead long before I got into ramming range. If that's even a thing. The Blanco is almost reloaded. Segura and Alerta are still taking some time. It's uh, noticed one of our ships. And is currently opening up. Next smokescreen in 75 seconds. And I already get torpedoes destroyed on this ship. I think I'm getting too close with my, with my uh, DDs. Segura. Uh, aggressive then, I guess. Okay. Maybe not so much swarm tactics, but maybe torpedo swarm tactics. Come on. Why am I not sending the torpedoes? He's at five and a half kilometer range. It's easy to torp him right now. Or at least to send them out. Am I missing something here? What the hell is going on? Torpedo set to aggressive. I don't get it. Ah, now we're firing. And yeah, you guys raise a good point. Uh, he cannot target them all, so just charge in. Currently he's trying to kill off the Segura. Um, I just hope he charges head on into that salvo. But they might have been aimed a little bit too far ahead. There goes the Blanco. Nah, this is not going to work. Um. Hmm. I'm going to stick with my torpedoes. Uh, and turbines. Semi oil, force boilers. Yeah, let's head on to a smaller profile. So, what do you recommend then? Just charge right in with a bunch of DDs? I mean, I could. But I'm not sure if it's worth it. Now I would build five torpedo or five uh, ships. There. Five destroyers with an engine efficiency of only 27.8. Enhanced. 55. That's a little better. Uh, electric torpedoes. 18 inch torps. Mount the torpedoes in the rear and kite. <laughs> Uh, that's an interesting idea. So I'd put the funnel right behind the bridge. And just put all the torpedo launchers in the rear. Probably going to get a hell of a lot of rear offset. Maybe I can upgrade the gun to a 5 inch if only to counteract as a balance weight. Okay, that's too much. There. Okay, so this could work. Having 18 inch torpedoes, electric propulsion, that's eight torpedoes per ship times five. So I would launch a salvo of 40 torpedoes. And then I can do that four times. So I got 160 torpedoes. Can we go less displacement for more speed? Possibly, quite possibly, if it fits. I think my aft weight offset is going to be a problem then. So at least one as far back as I can put it. And then try to counteract it with the funnels. And then another torpedo launcher here, otherwise I cannot balance it out properly. No, I cannot balance it out anyway. If 
five, nine. Switch the gun. Go to five. After weight offset, two point eight. Okay. I'm down to four destroyers. This is the tipping point, 38 knots. Anything faster than 38 knots? And I'm going down to four uh, torpedoes, or four destroyers. One torpedo and one gun and max speed? Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll try that. Just to see if that's viable, yes or no. Send it. Can I fit two guns? Yep, I possibly could, but is it worth it? He's behind us. He's already chasing. Shit. Cossack, Boyne, Vancouver, Manners, and Scepter. Range to target, 14 clicks. All right, everybody, be advised. I want no torpedoes until otherwise directed. We're gonna move like this and then turn starboard. Set up a smoke screen so that hopefully the, tr the transports won't get hit. And that I still have enough time to start kiting away from this battlecruiser. Commence your starboard turn. Make two packs, yeah. I can uh, detach one of these ships. Like that. But now the Manners is getting on the wrong side. <clears throat> he has to try and link up with the Scepter again. Range, 8.9. Peters won't aim well off, yeah, I know. It's just very, very much bow in, in which case I'm very unlikely to hit him. Maybe the Scepter and the Manners can, though. Okay, the Scepter has launched. The Manners not yet. I think it might not be too confident about his torpedo solution yet. Oh shit, he's firing. And he might be turning as well. Six point eight. Okay, while he's changing or charging down those, I want these guys to charge in. Maximum speed. And we have fish in the water on all weapons. Let's get the hell out. Job done. Move. Is there a possibility to put two bow torpedoes? No. Not as far as I have been able to tell. It's an interesting idea, but I don't think it works. What do we know about this thing? 13 inch guns, 8 inch secondaries. Yikes, this thing got anywhere close to my transports and they're done. Where are the torpedoes? Here are the torpedoes. One big wall, this whole block. Watch the salvo get dodged. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. What's his speed? 33.5. 5. 
fast cruiser. Now he seems to be very interested in the Vancouver and the Boyne. So hopefully the Scepter and the Manners can change the situation by charging in. I think that these are also going to miss. Yeah. Yep, he's now charging the other group. Change course. Scepter, smoke up. Range four kilometers out. Directly at him. Minimize your profile. Maximize your speed. Make it as difficult as possible to hit him. Scepter seems to be adrift. Okay, manners. 2.8 out. Let loose with the torpedoes. Cossack. Boyne. Vancouver. Get ready. Oh shit, they're not ready. They don't have the torpedoes armed. Oh crap. Manners. Torpedoes swinging to starboard. Get him! Torpedoes away. Manners. Make a uh, course correction. Port side maximum. Oh, I shouldn't have charged him with the Cossack. The Cossack is not ready yet. Nor are the other ships. And he seems to now be switching his fire between two targets. Uh, both the Manners and the other ones. And I have to get very careful not to eat this torpedo salvo myself. These are looking decent. Cossack, any day now. You're at 1.5 clicks, I could really use a hit. Vancouver, I need you to detach from the squadron. No, 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 no. You, change course. Because those torpedoes could be getting awfully close. Cossack, fire when ready. Torpedo's looking good. Yep, Boyne has fired. Torpedo's coming in from the other side as well. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That could be five hits. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to see. So that's his starboard side peppered with torpedoes. Now the port side could also de get dealt a pretty heavy blow. Yep, he's going to eat another five. One, two, three, four, five. Potentially six if I get lucky. Yep. They're all barely doing any damage though. Vancouver torps out. Cossack is still not torping though. Scepter sinks to damage. Pretty much as expected. Come on, two more. Hit. Hit. Flooding. I'm surprised he is taking this little damage from all of these torpedoes. There we go, we got him. It worked. Done. Whew. Okay. Nice one. Good kill. Um. Oh, right. Yeah. This is the... The really tricky one. How about this destroy the full fleet? I think I got stuck on this mission last week. Destroy a full fleet. 
I will build a battleship, cruiser, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, or destroyer. And the enemy consists of battleships, battle cruiser, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, and three destroyers. That is a lot of stuff. Can we try the same, but with weaker to destroyers, more speed? Uh, sure. But how fast do you want me to make these things? Like maximum? 38 knots? I'm already getting... Oh, actually, that's a cruiser. It's 47.5 knots. That's the best I can get. I'm not sure if my engines are going to be anywhere near capable of maintaining a speed like that. Probably not. No. So you want to have more destroyers. One torpedo, one small gun, maximum speed, minimum displacement. I can't do that. I'm at minimum displacement, I'm at maximum speed, but I don't have the engine tech to fix that. That's the real challenge here. I don't have the way to uh, get this weight under control. Because I'm already running minimum everywhere. Um, 45 might be doable. You're saying one torpedo launcher. Do you mean a block? Or a quad stack? Like this. I think the result is pretty much going to be the same as previous battle. Just rush him in your torpedo and I'm overweight. Need at least one gun and I still need to add a funnel. Standard funnel. I know a standard funnel is killing. But I probably won't even be able to fit. No, I cannot fit an enhanced funnel. 12% engine efficiency. Well, good thing we're already at speed. No, electric torps, preferably. No, best thing I can do is 15 inch torpedoes. I don't think that this is going to work. Um, I still want to get a good number of destroyers. That's four destroyers. 44.5 knots. Uh, cost is going to be the limiting factor here. Torpedo launchers are... Not that expensive. Come on. No, it switches back to three destroyers. So 44.5 knots is the best speed that I can offer. And I only get one launcher. Um, sorry, two four main guns. You want me to set a one torpedo on this? I can still only build four destroyers. The problem is the speed and the price. It's not the weight. So I might as well go for a quad launcher. Or, if you're feeling fancy, a whole bunch of single launchers. Which doesn't really make as much sense, but it is possible. Oh, you are one ugly boat, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll try it. But don't expect any fancy results out of this ship. Let's see if I can get that weight offset corrected. Get out. Lifeboats? Who needs lifeboats? We need torpedoes. I'm not going for lifeboats. There. One less speed and see if I can get more. Uh, if I want to get maximum amount of destroyers, I would go for a low speed, 24 knots. Then I can get 10 destroyers with this type of armament. 
Uh, that could work. Because you're just putting a whole bunch of torpedoes in the water. What if I go for quad launchers? As many quad launchers as possible. So now they fire 16 torpedoes each, times 7. Holy crap. Okay. For science, I guess. Twenty-four knots. Electric torpedoes. I don't want a single torpedo. Single torpedoes don't make sense. Did I see your comment on excellent performance, uh, David? Um, I don't know. Possibly. Probably. Where's that ship? There. Oh, he's heading away. Interesting. Okay. Uh, you guys charge. You guys at an angle. I want at least 30 knots. Well, on this mission, I might actually get away with less speed. For the simple reason that I don't have to chase him down. He has to come to me. And he will do that because my transports are over here and that's his objective. So there's a very good chance that he will, in fact, come towards me and that my 24 knots is going to be enough. Eight kilometers out. Seven. Do we know what it is? No. Okay, so we need to get closer. Oh, first torpedo set away from the Renudon. Next set away from the uh, Carabinier. Foudroyant should be next. Second salvo coming in from Cyclone. Fanfare. Bisson has just launched. Uh, Boutefeu also launched and Foudroyant launched. Okay, so everything is in the water now. We got the first sets coming in right about now. Second set. Third set. But at this range, the dispersion on the torpedoes is just bad. So they're going to be all over the place. They're really not that likely to hit him. No, he just narrowly dodged that one. He's going to turn into these, which will make them all miss. Yeah, we got one hit. Two hits. Three hits. Flooding. So out of that massive salvo that we fired, we got three hull torpedo hits. <laughs> there goes the fanfare. <laughs> yeah, she's not going to be long for this world. Fanfare's dead. Cyclone is... About three quarters through its reload. What do you have? A speed of 31. This thing is packed to the brim with guns. Look at that. He has six 12 triple inch turrets. Jesus, dude. Seven inch guns all over the place. Four inch, three inch, two inch, and torpedoes. Alrighty then. 
Let's just see if the other group can get in his way with the torpedoes. This torpedo squadron is pretty much dead. So it's all down to the other one. This group. There you go, Cyclone's dead. Renaudin has fired. Launched the torpedoes. He's getting awfully close to these transports. This better hit him. And fast. Good number of hits, but... Many bulkheads should contain the damage. No, I don't think that this is going to work as well as the initial design. You have to break some DDs to sink a battleship. It's not even a battleship. I mean, it's armed like a battleship, though. Although, for all intents and purposes, this might as well be a battleship. Look at that. 1.7 inch armor to 11 inch plus 100%. That's the bonus that he gets. So this thing really has a massive amount of armor. Probably including torpedo protection. And it seems like he's currently also taking some shots with a starboard salvo against this transport. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I don't think I'll be, kill, uh, be able to kill him. I'm going to torp my own transports. Uh, no. I'm going to miss the transports. There goes the carbonier. That's not enough. He is still flooding, albeit very little. Yeah, there goes the Botefeu. Foudroyant should be next. Okay, you're right. I did hit my own transport. Yeah, okay. I'm not doing that. Um, I wonder what happens if you go after this thing with a cruiser. I keep trying to win on one salvo instead of playing the longer game. Well, the thing is, I don't really have time for a longer game. If I don't sink him fast, he's going to sink my transports and I lose the mission. That's my biggest concern. So that's why I'm constantly sending out large waves of torpedoes and hoping that I immediately finish him off, because anything less than that might not kill him. Fewer bigger torpedoes. A Cleveland class cruiser. I'm not sure I could do that. Let's see. Mm, armored cruiser. Main guns. Cruiser has, uh, or the, the Cleveland has 6 inch, I think. Triple barrel. This ship is enormous as, com as compared to what I would need from it. Um, displacement, 13,500 13, tons. Okay, so let's go for main inch. Or main centerline guns. 6 inch. Just a whole lot of them. Let's see if I can still fit in the main. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. I know the, the Cleveland isn't a heavy cruiser though. But if I go for armored cruiser, you get this older design. That's my concern. Okay, so let's see if I can fit on the main tower. And then we'll see what else I can fit. Secondary tower probably required. Ship is overweight. Grip three. Uh, turbines. How fast do these things fire? Every 16 seconds you reload all of that? Whoa. Okay. So that could be interesting, at least as an experiment, if nothing else.
No, not there. That's offset. And I would also need a funnel. I will build two heavy cruisers. This is going to be a weird design. Could I put these in a uh, side mount? Yes. So that would work. Sort of. Okay. I guess we're going full out HE. Lidite 1. No faster way to detonate your own ship than Lidite 1. Speed. Let's say 27 knots. Range none. Bulkhead standard. Forced boilers. Uh, auto loaders. Reloads in 10 seconds. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, heavy shells. 10 second reload. This is going to be an HE boat. To the fullest of the meaning of HE. Citadel 1. Mm. Whoops. I hate it, you can still do that. Use Barbette to reduce cost. How do you see that, Latour? I mean, I could add a Barbette, but it would increase cost, not reduce it. I don't have a lot of mounting points for those things either. Spam boat incoming, yep. Absolutely. Torpedo launchers, no, skip that. Hydraulic turrets. Electro Hydro. Uh, I'll take damage control. Aux 1. Anti Flood 1. Let's go for some Barbette armor. Because my detonation chance is probably pretty bad. I still have a whole bunch of cash left though. I'm only going to go for two cruisers anyway. If I can get it to about. 14, relocate some stuff. I can maybe put on more guns. Medium funnel there. Secondary tower. Can I put this thing further back? Yeah, a little bit. Then throw the funnel in there. Uh, get the main guns, sight mounts, 6 inch triple barrel. Maybe I can throw. Oh. I have to wait to offset 1%. Oh, just wait. We're gonna mess that up real good. <laughs> George, right at him and spam them with 24 guns uh, sorry, not 24 12 nuts what do you mean historically accurate this is historical monstrosity uh, if the guns means if the gun one gun on the barbette is two side guns yeah, but I cannot fit that. I can only fit this. I don't have access to the medium barbettes. <laughs> right. Two heavy cruisers. Heavy being... Uh, debatable, at least. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Launch. This is gonna get weird. Uh, 
Okay, where's the target? There's the target. We can only do the honorable thing and we can charge. And we can do that in line abreast at full speed and load the HE. The Macon and the Baltimore. What is my range? 12. <laughs> sure. Oh, I want to see these things fire. I want to see all those guns go off. Probably at the same time as well. Yep, here it is. A couple of ranging shots. Go on. Are you telling me those side mounts cannot turn in far enough? Nah, they can turn. They're just reloading, I hope. The shit you can do in this game, you cannot do anywhere else. Although it seems like I'm only seeing this turret fire. This one and that one are just quiet. Why is that? Which ammo get detonated first? I don't know. We'll see. Come here and burn. He still hasn't seen me yet? Really? Slow down. In that case, I don't want to close in. If I could just spam this thing to death at great range, then I would be perfectly happy. But I'm not sure if my HE shells, my 6 inch shells, are even going to go through that armor. Shells are still landing all over the place. Did I not put a rangefinder on this thing by any chance? Oh. It's had enough of my bullshit. And it's opening up with everything it has. So far as it's in range. And I wouldn't be surprised if these are 8-inch secondaries, which are also in range. And 8-inch casemate guns. Fun times. I still haven't hit the thing. Accuracy 2.4%. Mekon has been hit. Conning tower destroyed. Get out. I have the idea, though, that not all of these guns are firing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need to penetrate him, I just need to burn him. And burn him bad. The incomparable. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. The Baltimore and the Macon, they're incomparable. Look at all this fire. I still haven't hit him once? Is your captain out of commission? Conning tower damaged. Detach. I'm just not hitting the guy. It's just not happening. I've got one shatter hit so far. That's all. If 
Finally, damage to the funnel. Most of my guns are obscured. Yeah, it seems like it. This is never going to work. I mean, it was a, a fun experiment, but come on. What does he have, even? 13 inch, 8 inch, 7, 6, 5, and torpedoes. Six shattering hits, one penetration. Which I think is impressive considering you're firing HE. And I got a, an actual penetration with that. I don't think I put. Whoops. Shit. Oh, I did click the right one. Yeah, I don't have rangefinders. Not saying that this is going to salvage everything, but it might help a little. Second attempt. Jeez, could you be any closer to that transport without running it over? You're surprised no one has detonated yet. Yeah, me too. I mean, I got many bulkheads, and uh, I went for quite a bit of defenses on these ships, but I'm surprised myself. Maybe he would have run out of ammo before he got to the transports. Uh, yeah. Maybe. At least I don't have a regulation that says, hey, you need to do this and this much uh, survivability on your own ships. Range was, what was it, 12? 12. HE. And HE only. Slow down to extremely low speed. We can just outspam this thing, that'd be perfect. Because the closer we get, the more likely we're to get hit. Four knots. I think it's more of a problem with the gun setup. Because I'm only seeing this gun fire. There, it's this gun. Or this turret. And this turret. I'm not sure if this turret's actually doing anything. I could go for a full broadside salvo. That might get more guns on target. Because then I can also use the ones in the stern. And maybe the bow ones don't obstruct each other as much. We're still all over the place. 1.6% chance. Thirty knots, minimum bulkheads. One to seven point one inch armor with a one hundred percent bonus. Where's he going though? I don't think he noticed the transports. How close am I? Ten. I'll just keep spamming him then. I 
I don't need to sink him. It's not like I can keep him out range for an hour and hope that the mission ends. Sinking him is the prime objective. Couple of non shatters or non hits. Shatters. Which I'm not surprised about, considering the range at which I'm firing. I know it's HE, but that thing has a lot of armor. Use the time, yeah. Yes and no. But he's just not even getting close. Or closer. It's just sailing perpendicular. That's weird. Doesn't he have radar or any other way to find the convoy? Curious. Ding, ding, ding. Nothing penetrates. Nothing hurts. What's my pen chance? 10 kilometers. Uh, I penetrate 0 0.9 inches of armor or 0.1 inch of deck armor. <laughs> yeah. So my semi-Cleveland inspired design doesn't really work. Not starting any fires either. My ships are firing with pretty much all the turrets now. The only one that's not firing is the starboard one. But nothing does anything against this battle cruiser. I think these ships started out with five or 3,500 rounds. I've already fired almost 500 rounds. And he still doesn't give a shit. So we'll need to get a little closer. And maybe then we can do something useful. Are they set to HE? Yeah, both of them are. So that's why I don't get that I'm not getting any fires. His armor is just that good. Yeah. Oh, we got a fire! Sort of. My hit chance has gone up to a whole 2%. So he should be getting really worried now. It's on, buddy. 2% chance to hit you with 6-inch guns. Better get nervous. Oh! He's found me. is so useless. Never mind. Alright. Um, I'm going to do this mission. Now this is going to be the last one of the stream. Escort a battleship that's under attack by two cruisers and ten torpedo boats. Yikes. And I'll build destroyers to counter these things. So something that is fast, something that has enough firepower to destroy a torpedo boat, and... Um, a couple of cruisers, which I hope the battleship will take out. I need to keep the battleship alive. My ships can die. Which is not a very nice thing to say, but it is true. Uh, guns? 
or torpedoes? 30 knot torpedo speed? My ships are faster. Screw that. I'll take guns, I guess. Look at that. Torpedo protection. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I can only build a destroyer one. I don't have anything bigger. Maximum displacement? 1,000 tons. Speed? Let's go for 30 knots. If I can put engines on that, that support that. Possibly not. Guns. Preferably 5 inch, because they seem to be the most accurate. Although... No, they're actually not. These things are the most accurate. 49% at 1000 meters. This is going to be a knife fight and a half. Let's go for the main tower first. I just want to build a couple of 2 inch torpedo boats, or um, not even torpedo boats. Just... A load of guns. Because if I'm fighting torpedo boats, I need maneuverability and I need guns. Guns, guns, guns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guns. All two inch. What's the reload? 3.7 seconds. Semi-auto. 2.7 seconds. Uh, super heavy shells. From a 2 inch. Right. Damage 12. Damage 15. Oh, look at that. Color me impressed. I might need to go for extra rounds on these things, though. I mean... I gotta make sure that I detonate in a timely manner. I need at least one torpedo launcher? What nonsense is that? Because now I'm overweight again. I can't really save anything on the armor. Just standard shells? Yeah, there. Yeah, I'm at the highest chance of taking torpedoes, that's true. But my problem is that the 5 inch are just not accurate enough. And they don't fire fast enough. So I'm hoping that these little 2 inchers actually do enough damage. And we'll just have to broadside and hope that I don't get hit. I can put anti-flood on it. But I immediately go overweight again. So let's just try this. And hope that we can get all of these little speeder boats. One battleship, four destroyers versus two heavy cruisers and ten torpedo boats. Fight. Okay, I get to control the battleship. That's handy. Let's charge in. The Offa, the Petard, the Observer, and the Forester. We probably won't be able to see these torpedo boats until they get close. There they are. Range, three kilometers. Prepare to broadside. And lots of it. This is going to be madness with the amount of shells that are flying back and forth. Potential of torpedoes coming in. It's going to get a little hectic. Look at this tiny thing. In its defense, it is firing back. the observer to detach from the group and I want the forester to join the observer 
I want you guys to keep cruising in this direction. The other ones are just going to screen the other way. He still hasn't torpedoed. Can range... 3 kilometers. Oh, I have sent out a torpedo. That's uh, pretty optimistic. Hitting something that small with a torpedo. Keep peppering him with everything. <laughs> Rate of fire on these things. And this is on standard speed as well. Accuracy, 4%. I think we'll have to get closer. <clears throat> I think it's time for the Empress of India to start turning around. Damage the torpedoes. I carry about 5,000 rounds to start out with, I think. I still have 4,600 left. There are a lot of these little things out there. At least the battleship's doing some damage to the York. That's a good start. Let's make sure that this thing gets out before it gets torpedoed by everything. This is going to take a long time. I only have 54 minutes to do this in, though. Ammo detonation. On... What? On this one, I think. Yeah. Ammo detonation on the S4. I think that's more courtesy of the Empress of India than anything else. Because I don't see the Observer or the Forester doing that. I mean, it's, it's possible. But not terribly likely. Oh crap, he torped. I probably won't be able to avoid that. Two torpedoes out from the S4. No, I'm gonna eat... Is that three? No, there's one return torpedo. I'm going to eat one, I think. Ooh, yeah, on the stern. Rudder damaged. That's exactly what I didn't need, considering that I'm going up against these very tiny ships with torpedoes. The observer is bravely going for the cruiser. Optimistic. Especially since I don't have any torpedoes ready. Rudder damaged and flooding. Crap. See, I like these two inch guns. They're nice and fast. But... The big question is, do they do enough damage? And I've done this mission a good number of times already. But overall, it seemed like I just don't do enough damage. Whether I'm doing a 2-inch gun, a 4-inch gun, a 5-inch gun. I have not been able to do it. Oh, something detonated. Yeah, I think the York got its ammo detonated. Because it was not the Observer and not the Forester. Oh, the Empress is flooding badly. What are we firing with? 12 inch. That's pretty impressive. Torpedo out. On the York. At a dreadful angle. What happened to you?
I think the offer is not going to survive this. Torpedo is going to miss. He also sent out a torpedo of his own. Oh, you're just not quite ready in time. That torpedo could be so handy right about now. Range, a half a click. Detach, Forrester. Forrester, 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 come here. Turn, 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 turn. Waffle sinks. Come on, I know these are slow torpedoes. We only have a three kilometer range, but I really need a hit. Lost the main gun. Torpedo away. How are we doing with these little shits here? Jeez, that S4 is still alive? After all that. So that was the torpedo from the Forester. Yeah, this is not going to work out. Not the first time. There goes the Forester. Alright, I'll try a different setup. Clear. If I go for minimum weight destroyers, I get 800 tons of displacement. Speed, I don't think is important. 23 knots. We need to get a main island. And a funnel. Ship is overweight. Alright, fixed. I do need a torpedo launcher. Let's go with a double one. Five inch guns, more range, more damage. These do 121 damage versus the 12 damage that these things do. Um, Semi-auto loaders, advanced hydraulic, reload, 8.8 .8 seconds. I might even be able to fit another gun on here. Not quite. Okay, so I would have five destroyers. That's a two and a three. Uh, add a torpedo launcher? No, that doesn't fit. Could I add side-mounted torpedo launchers? Like that. Ship is overweight. Don't think I can do much about that. Nope. These do have pretty interesting angles though. They can almost fire forward. If I bring them back just a little bit more. Yeah, I might have an almost forward firing arc on these torpedo launchers. Weird design. Okay, second attempt. 17 torpedoes, here we go. Let's see if this is gonna do any better. Five inch guns. Zelandia. One squadron over here. The other squadron keep pushing, go. Smoke it up. Get the Zealandia out of here before it gets torpedoed. Which is possibly pretty inevitable, but we'll just see how much damage reduction I can uh, handle. 
Whoa, already flooding? That's fast. Petard has a torpedo out. They don't carry a whole lot of those, though. Seven. Okay. Hmm. Torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. See, so far I'm just not hitting him at all. I'm hitting this guy. But I'm not even sure if it's the 5-inch guns that are doing that. Yikes. Knife fighting range, 400 meters. Yeah, he just got torpedoed. Has anyone been able to figure out a solution for this mission? Because I haven't. And I've done it at least five times. Not on this stream, but in general. I'm just losing destroyers very, very quickly. Maybe I'm being too aggressive. Maybe I shouldn't charge in or something. But I don't really get what the right solution is. No, this isn't going to work either. I've already lost two destroyers out of my four. There goes the Crusader. I got two left. It's not going to work. Alright, guys. Um, with that, I'm going to leave the stream. I'm going to end it here. Unfortunately, that mission didn't quite work. Let's see if we can figure that out some other time. For now, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, I had fun. Still a very interesting game, and I really look forward to getting the campaign. No idea when that's going to come out. Uh, I asked them, and they did not give me an answer to it. Just hopefully soon. All right. Um, I hope to see you guys soon on the videos. Later today, there's going to be another Wargame Red Dragon vid. And, of course, over the weekend, there will be plenty of others. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you like my content, then please support the channel. Either by becoming a Patreon or be by uh, hitting that follow button or sorry, join button on the channel. That really helps me out. And um, I shall see you guys soon for more videos. Have a good day.